Welcome back. Hey. So you the guys probably never thought you'd see another ghost stream, right? It's been forever, hasn't it? Uh, so I guess this makes this either go day four or go day five. I don't remember. Um, but in any event, today marks the release of early access to a uh, new Steam game, Ancient Go. So the target demographic for this game is people, I think, who play on 9x9 boards, who are looking to learn the basics of Go, um, and just have some fun with it. Um, and just enjoy a beautiful game that runs on a Windows platform. Um, so, the target demographic for this game is basically me, and I don't know if anybody else is in the target demographic, but, you know, I just really appreciate that somebody has finally released an online game that can also teach some of the basics of how to play Go uh, for beginners. Now, granted, I have solved some life and death problems. I do understand some basic tactics, but that's about it. And um, if you've seen any of my previous Go streams or videos, uh, you will understand that you know, my board vision, <laughs> it needs work. My ability to read what's going to happen next, uh, it's practically non-existent. Unless somebody sets up the board and says, you know, in this one position, find the key idea. But you're not going to have that during a game. And so, I purchased this. It was... Um, on sale not that that matters because it was modestly priced anyhow and um, it wasn't that much of a sale and I am supporting the developer um, and that's what really matters so without further ado let's go explore early access to ancient go all right let's cover the basics in go players take turns placing black or white stones on the intersections of the board. The goal is to surround enemy territory or the opponent's stones for points. Play ends when both players pass instead of placing a stone. Each position um, is worth one point. Oh, I'm sorry, each position in surrounded territory is worth a point. Place a stone to surround some territory. You surrounded eight points worth of territory. Territory is surrounded when it touches only the stones of your color or the edge of the board. Surround as much as possible in this position with a single stone. So the answer is this which surrounds two spaces which is worth two points. In addition to territory, you can score points by capturing the opponent's stones. Stones are captured if they are surrounded by enemy stones. The lines mark the positions needed to surround. Oh, okay. Interesting. Never thought of it that way, but you're correct. Stones that are next to friendly stones connect and form a group. So these two are a group now and now the black stone there is saved. At least for now. If you surround a group, all the stones are captured. Each individual stone counts for one capture point. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you need to surround it uh, to actually capture. Although in a real game, you very well might want to place there to just, I'm sorry, yeah, you need to surround it adjacently um, surrounding it like that would probably be equally effective, and in fact, you don't have to place there immediately because that group of three stones is doomed, but inevitably to capture it, you would need to place here. Stones against the edge of the board can also be captured. Haha! -ha. 
placing a stone into position that causes it or its group to die is called a suicide and is not permitted. Ancient Go shows these as red, so if I click here, it's not going to let me place the stone. Play a legal move to continue. That's legal for sure. The internal position shown here is allowed because it kills the white group, uh, so the black group is not surrounded. See, since you cannot make two moves at once, white can never surround this black group. But do not fill in your own eyes, because like if black places a stone here, white can place a stone there, and this entire black group is dead. Uh, this is called Ko. Watch what happens when white captures your stone. And then you try to capture back, and it's like, nope, you can't do it. So, yeah, game forbids repetition. And now black can go there in the future. You can capture it on your next move as long as white does not connect the stones, say by placing here. Black places first and go. So black is considered uh, to have an advantage. Um, and therefore, usually the weaker player gets to play black, I guess. I don't know. That's interesting. Black plays first, which is considered a strong advantage, but I thought they came up with a way to balance that called Komi. Anyhow, as a traditional sign of respect, the first move is normally on the far right, so the white player does not have to reach far in order to respond. Uh, the idea is you'd have a bowl of black stones over here, and white would have a bowl of white stones over here, and so you're placing on the side of the board closest to your uh, bowl of stones. And white's probably going to do the same. To make games fair and balance, um, black's first move, white... Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Interesting. Early moves near the corners of the board... Um, as they surround, the early moves are normally near the corners of the board as it takes less stones to surround territory, but if you surround too much you might get invaded. Scores will change by a large amount during the game, so ignore the score while playing, and think about how the board will look when play is over. Remember that you will learn more from a defeat than from a victory. You know the basics, um, and they will make sense after a few games to start playing. Alright. Ancient Go auto scores when playing matches, but understanding how points are counted will help you to improve. So yeah, obviously the things that are surrounded entirely by black are black's territory, things that are surrounded entirely by white are white's territory, and these contested points are not scored. How many points is this capture worth? It's worth one point. Uh, each enemy stone captured is worth a point, in addition to any territory gained uh, by the capture. So this scores three points immediately and will be worth three at the end of the game. So that's a six point swing. Be careful not to leave enemy stones in your, oh, right, okay. So yeah, having captured the white stone scores a point. Having placed the black stone costs you a point of territory, which is a net, um, not a gain, not a loss. It's just a push. Um, once no important places are left, playing a stone in your own territory costs you a point. Uh, so that's why you should pass. What if white plays in black's territory, then black passes? Uh, black had five, oh. Black had five points, um, but now they're neutral. Can easily capture the stone for one point, but it will cost three stones to capture it. Let me think about that one. Hmm. Black had five points of territory, 
It'll cost him three stones to capture the one. So is that actually a good idea for white to place there? That's really interesting. I never even thought about that. Black now has two territory points plus a capture point. So, um, white placed there, taking away five points from black. Uh, however, black recovered three of those points, which is a cost of two points. To balance black's territory loss here, passing means literally passing a capture stone uh, to the opponent. This makes the game fair, as there is no reward for playing stones that will die. Wait, I'm very confused by this. What does this mean in terms of scoring? Black now has two territory points plus a capture point. To balance Black's territory loss, passing means literally passing a capture stone to the opponent. So, um, oh, okay, I understand now. So each time white passes, he has to hand a stone to black. Um, and so the net result is that white should not invade. Um, because invading wouldn't lead to any profit. Because um, white would have to pass a stone or a capture stone uh, each turn. Each time black moves to surround the white stone. This makes the game fair as there is no reward for playing stones that will die. Got it. What if white didn't have to pass? To prevent point loss, black should fill in the neutral places before attacking white's stone. Interesting point. Knowing when you must defend and when you can ignore to fill neutral spots or launch your own attack is an important skill. Yeah, so this white stone has absolutely no chance of living. So black and white should fill in all the contested points, and then black can gang up and kill the white stone. I think under some scoring rules, that stone is just considered, that's just dead. There's no recovering that stone, but whatever. The rules were designed such that there's no scoring advantage to playing in any area if the stone will die. But there is no punishment either. If you think you can kill a group from the inside, then you should try to do it. So yeah, if white thought, oh, I'm going to play here, I'm going to kill black's group somehow, white should go for it. There's no risk. Um, it's a waste of time. Or, sorry, playing stones that you know will die is wasting time. But if you think you can make progress, go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, white gets seven and a half bonus points, called Comey, for, for playing second. This number was decided to be the fair amount by professionals after analyzing many games and frankly after playing many games I mean analyzing is one thing um, I'm sure by playing it you get a better feel than by analyzing but what do I know um, it takes and includes a half point so there are no ties I don't know that I actually care for that I would actually like to see some kind of rule that does allow for ties but Whatever. Winner of a game has a higher total of territory plus captures plus pass captures. White always gets plus Comey. When a, game, when a match is over, you can press the details button to see the breakdown. Alrighty. Uh, we'll see if anybody's playing online. Uh, time per side. Well. Uh, 
sure these are the default settings. Three minutes is probably fast, but it's a 9x9 nine nine board, so uh, let's say five. Okay. We're going to see if anybody's purchased this game and is playing early access. In which case, we'll have an opponent. If that's not the case, um, then yeah. Uh, or maybe I just have to pick three minute because that's the default. So oh, wait, no. Okay, see, so I see. Here's the menu. Um, interesting. So it counts the number of passes by the opponent, counts the territory that's surrounded, counts the number of captures. Um, and that's pretty cool. Oh, hey, look, we got an opponent. Good luck. Okay. I'm gonna chase your stone, buddy. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing other than trying to create something that doesn't have tons of holes. Uh, I think this is a contentious move because it's kind of attacking or at least moving toward both the white groups. I admit I'm split very severely here. Um, so would not be surprised if white decided to try to attack me. Um, okay. Uh, I want to play that, and on the other hand, I really don't. So I'm just going to surround this upper right corner. Um, maybe I'm going to also try to peek under here. So, I mean, it looks like I'm giving a lot of territory, and I probably am. Um, they say that this game, you, it's, you measure territory like you're cutting a pizza. And whoever ends up with the bigger half wins. So this stone, I think, is going to be surrounded by my guys. Uh, I think I'm not going to end up getting surrounded, so I think it's going to work out for me. Um... Okay, so I attack both the top and the bottom groups with this move. Uh, really hoping to surround this triangle here. Triangles are supposed to be um, kind of sickly shapes in this game. And so you're supposed to try to avoid making them. We'll see how this goes, though. I'm expecting he's... Oh, he didn't play there. Okay. So this this is gonna get interesting for sure. Um Well, I guess I take this point. At which point my guys are like all over the board. Um I've probably not played this as accurately as possible. Um I have to escape my group so it doesn't get completely surrounded, but he might end up surrounding the upper right corner. This could be bad news for me. Maybe I did have to cut here. I'm playing way too fast, by the way. Much too fast. Oh, it's my turn. Holy moly. Well, I'm going to keep cutting. Oh, crud. <laughs> okay, I'm losing the game. Wow, I did not think that was possible. Okay, good game. That was fun. Yeah, no, he's... My group in the middle got surrounded. Uh, I played too aggressively. Shame on me. All right, let's let's play a new game. Public game. Here we go. Maybe I should spend more time thinking and less time talking. 
at least now I know that five minutes is certainly enough to play the game. Um, maybe I should start by playing the center instead of doing the corner here. I don't know. Um, sure, I'm going to play the center this time. So I've kind of staked out the upper right quadrant. Um, so all else being equal, I guess white... Oh, that's kind of aggressive. Okay. I attack your weak stone. And somehow end up making it stronger for having attacked it. Um, so now if he plays up there, I'm surrounding this single stone. Okay, that's interesting. Um, did I just connect down here? No, then he goes up there. So what am I doing? I don't know. I'm really confused. Just in case you guys couldn't figure that out already. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep attacking. I'm going to kill these two stones, and it's going to cost me the entire right side of the board to do it. We're going to learn a lesson here today. And we're going to learn it the hard way. Um, if I place there, he surrounds me instantly. I am so confused. If I place there, he probably goes here? Uh, yeah. So I have to heal this. Attack that. And that kind of strengthens my threats on the left side of the board. It's more fun to execute threats than to make threats. And so rarely against qualified opponents do I get to actually execute threats. So I'm a bit anxious and trigger happy on that. Um... Maybe if I just play more solidly, things will work out. Okay. I see that this is obviously intended. I don't want to spend time healing this, but I don't see an alternative. So, I'm just going to bunch up all my stones like this. Um, it looks terribly wasteful to do that sort of thing. Because I'm essentially giving my opponent a free hand to do whatever he wants. Um, such as that. Now if he goes there, he cuts my group. So I have to keep all these together. So now I've formed one group that spans the entire board. Um, he's got two groups. So, if I have any luck at all, I'll be able to kill all of his stones, but, or something like that. I don't expect to be so lucky. Um, wait, do I have any way of killing this? If I place there, he can extend one way, but not the other. We're gonna try this. So I'm threatening both here and there. Um, maybe? I don't know. It looks strong somehow. I'm not sure that I'm understanding it right. What I really want is to be able to just play down here and have him extend and then trap him. So I'm... I don't know. This might be throwing away a stone. 
Uh, it probably is. Yeah, because now if I go down there, he traps me. Wait, if I go here, he has to go there. Okay, I'm going to keep trying to surround this stuff down here. I don't think I'm going to be too successful with it. Yeah, I think I should play move one in the center. Wait, if I go here, he goes there and he escapes and kills my guy. Right? I go here, he goes there, I go here. Um, he's got way more liberties than I do. Like, it's not even close. Okay, so what if I go here instead? I don't think it matters. I think the key is that I have to just try to reduce his territory and see if I can claim all this space on the lower right. So now if I throw in, he captures me. Um... There's no point to throwing in, is there? When I could just do this perfectly healthy move instead. If I throw in, he takes me. Oh, I don't need to throw in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just take this corner. And hopefully I surround more territory than he does, and if I do so, I win. Um, interesting. Also, I've got a minute left, so I have to play much faster. Um, okay, take my stone. It's all yours. Go ahead. Now I'm going to get to practice killing groups. Um, I'm below a minute. Oh, he's going to score two points from capturing the two stones. So that... Oh, plus he's got Comey. So this actually isn't a close game. Unless I'm... Hmm, maybe these stones are dead, though. And maybe since they're dead, or if they're dead, uh, this might be a close game after all. Um... So he's got one, two, three liberties. I've got three liberties also, so I'm actually losing this race. Uh, unless I'm missing something. Oh wait, if he places... I can actually... wait, that doesn't make sense either, does it? Okay, so we start a co-fight. Oh, seriously? Oh my goodness. Well, that's no good.
So basically my only shot at winning this game is to win it on time. Uh, we'll see if I can succeed at that. Well, I'm doing pretty awfully at this game. I think my entire group is dead. Yep. Oh no. White one on time. That was close. <laughs> Woo! Okay. That was exciting. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I am the target demographic of this game. Uh, people who want to have some fun playing Go and maybe learn a thing or two. Um... I think I'm just getting my rear end handed to me, though, because he's outreading me every step of the way. Like, it's not even close. At least now I understand that in that whole time pressure mechanic, you can't just push like you can in a chess game. Uh, this actually seems to have, like, a one-second increment or something reasonable. So you don't just win by winning on time. Um... All right, let's play against the computer. Wait, do I have an online game? Okay, whatever. Um, let's play the computer. Uh, easy 9x9 nine nine game. Wow. I seem to have crushed the computer's hopes, dreams, and spirits. Victory is mine. Apparently. Oh, it moved. Never mind. False alarm. Okay. So, I create a wall. I extend my wall. Oh man, look at my wall. Oh, that's not going to do. Okay. I uh, continue my wall. Alright, there's my wall. Is it not beautiful? I might have some chance of beating the computer. Um, there we go. Um, sure, let's surround that. Surround this. Oh, hang on. I could maybe try to surround these guys as well. Okay. I'm beating a computer, guys. What would AlphaGo do? Alright, so I have to surround this. Um, white passes. Okay, I kill the white stone. I kill the white stone. White passes, I pass, black wins by 20, or 19 and a half. Okay, let's try the computer on a little bit more challenging uh, difficulty. And start playing all the cowardly moves. Gotta break them out. Okay. Um... So, I make a wall. I kill you there. Um, wait, what? What's that? Am I getting surrounded? Okay. 
It's possible this medium level computer might not muster much strength. I don't know. Um, kill you there. Kill you there. Surround you here. Uh, yeah. Well, my goodness. I don't see these fairly obvious things. Um, okay. So, it doesn't behoove me to fill in my own territory. And I don't think I can kill this white group either, so it makes sense for me to pass. And I win. Cool. Alright, let's play the computer again. Apparently I get black again. So I guess that means I'm the weaker player. Uh, I guess I'll just have to get used to that. Uh, am I getting surrounded? I don't like that. I kill you. I'm still not getting surrounded here. I kill you here. And there. And here. Oh, I can't place. I can't capture right back. Okay. That's interesting. Um. Oh my goodness. Wow, I'm bad. <laughs> Alright, so we'll kill this eventually. We'll get around to killing it. First, we gotta take care of that. Kill you here. Um... Oh, can I not kill that? No, I can. Alright, and now we kill that group, and that, and now I think I pass. No, I have to kill this. It doesn't behoove me to take any more territory there. I've actually reduced my own territory by placing here, but it means the game end comes faster. Okay, apparently the computer can't pass. So it's kind of forced to fill in its own territory, which is pretty weird. Alright, let's try one more against the computer. Again, on the 9x9 board. Um, if this goes well, maybe I'm going to level up and play against a more challenging computer. Um, yeah, this one looks like it's going pretty well. Okay. Uh, just build a wall. Keep building a wall. Oh. Wait, can I not kill all your stuff? Pretty sure I get to kill your stuff. There's a bent four in a corner. Which you see in all these uh, Sumego problems. Um... Yeah, white's not going to get to live there either. Um, oh my goodness. I'm terrible at this. White could have placed here and saved himself. Um, yeah, white's not living in that space. That's a really optimistic move to play over here. Uh, take the other contested point. I suppose I didn't see that this particular stone was weak, and so white probably could have killed something on my half. Um, yep, so white places, and now I get to kill the whole white group. And we surround this. OK, 
King of the White Stone. We have to kill everything for the game to know that we won. Okay. So, apparently I can take on medium. We're going to try hard next, and I'm fully expecting it's going to kick my butt. Um, I build a wall. Alright. That's definitely a wall. Is it good enough? I don't know. Now we get to practice killing things. Um, white's filling in its own territory just to make things exciting. White passes. Okay, now here I think ordinary scoring would just say that black um, wins because these three stones are dead. Um, but in this particular version of the game I'm forced to kill white's stones for this to count. And now I can pass. Oh, and white wins by three and a half. So I didn't cover Comey. Interesting. I, th so I captured three stones. Wait, how did that score again? Opponent passed five times. I performed three captures. Okay. Oh, so the three captures I made made up for the territory deficit. Um, wait, how, how does this work? Yeah, I scored 30. It scored 33 and a half because it controls more territory. How... I guess my shape is just really inefficient. That's amazing. Um, so even after killing three stones... Well, I mean, killing the three doesn't matter. That doesn't affect the score at all. But just my overall shape here. One, two... You look at this. I mean, it sure looked like I was cutting through here. But what's behind that, um, somehow these three files and two squares don't count up to these three files plus these two. Interesting. I have no idea how that happened. We're going to try that again. All right, I take the center, and, uh, okay, crap, um, this is not going well, <laughs> uh, okay, oh my goodness, I'm getting killed everywhere, I give up. Okay, we're going to try that again. And not play so ridiculously aggressive this time. So I'm just going to stay a reasonable, safe distance from the opponent. And only approach when it seems safe to approach. And hopefully not overpress like I overpressed um, while well, you saw it. Um, oh, really? Have I ended up on the worst side of this again? I don't understand. Okay. 
White wins by 13. Okay, so White played more aggressively throughout and just made really good use of his stones. And I don't know what I'm missing here, other than I'm just playing against a difficult opponent. Um, I'm confused. Why can't I just, like, do this? Why doesn't this win? Does this not win? How much territory do I have to cover to cover seven and a half points, Comey? I... Oh, I get killed there. Ah, oh, that's interesting. It puts the highlight marker there to let me know that I'm about to die. That's so kind of it. Um. Hmm. If I place here, he goes there. Um. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is lost. I t goes hard. Why does it go so hard? Okay. I think at this point I'm supposed to pass. I know white can play there and cut me. And I don't think it matters. Because I think, yeah, no, I kill white very quickly if he tries to cut me. Like, he places there, I place here. Places here, I kill the white stone. So I'm safe, but on the other hand, uh, the territory count, oh wow, this game is closer than I thought. Uh, of course I'm not beating the computer, because it's playing on hard difficulty. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm surprised I held so well. So, yeah, we pass, it passes, well, now it reduces my territory score to two. I'm not sure what you're asking about. If you could enlighten me, that would be great. So, I mean, yeah, we're still at a score of 30 to 30 and a half. I have no chance of surrounding white stones, and he has no chance of surrounding mine. So I pass, and white wins by one and a half. Alright, let's go back to online play. Um, yeah, sure, five minute game. I get to take white. White does not go first in this game, believe it or not. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. I attack you. For no reason, I guess. Uh, it's an interesting way to surround territory. I don't understand this at all. That's pretty cool. These stones that are a space apart um, do operate really effectively. Uh, they're difficult to surround is the point. Okay. So if I just take this tact, I should not get surrounded like I've gotten surrounded the last few games. Um, I can't exactly push through here, can I? And of course he just seals it there. Um, okay, well what the heck. Let's find out what happens. Oh. I saw that, and I'm being dumb. Okay. Maybe there's some tactic to justify it. Probably not. 
Oh, and I just walked into another attack. Um, so that's super great. Okay, well, at this point, I'm fully committed to the attack because if this attack fails, I'm screwed. Um, such is life on a 9x9 board. Okay. I don't understand that either. Unless he's trying to surround this. Ah, I'm forced to attack. And so I attack. But, yeah, I'm surely getting killed here. In the most horrifying, abysmal, sort of grueling manner. There's, um... I just don't see anything constructive I can do in this position. Can I not place here? Or is just my mouse, my cursor, not working? Uh, that's not good. Oh, server connection lost. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, oh, that's too bad. How unfortunate. Oh, well. Oh, that was fun. Uh, here, let's beat on the computer one more time. Okay, here we go. We're going to build a wall. Look at me building the wall. Oh, yeah. It's the most awesome wall. Okay, and I'm going to build out this way. And build up that way, and down this way, and over here, and... Over there and kill this thing and kill that thing. Uh, kill this and that and this and that. And surround this thing and just make a little checkerboard pattern because why not? Alright, and then we pass. And watch as. Oh! Apparently, each time I pass. Um, it does nothing to the score, because each time I pass, I'm giving a stone to the computer. I thought each play over here was just weakening white, but I failed to fill in um, the spaces that were attacked by both of us. I should pay more attention. Alright, we're going to try this again. Building the wall, part two. Okay. Look, it's a wall. Now I'm going to choose a half of this. Um, I'm going to take the bottom half. Oh, right, I should expand. What am I thinking? Yeah, this group over here should be dead. Uh, so we kill that, kill this, kill that, kill this, and that. And now there's nothing that can be done to affect the score. Thankfully, I'm already winning. Um, this is, like, the easiest computer ever. Oops, I shouldn't have passed there. Okay. Yeah. No, you can pick between four levels. Easy, medium, hard, and maximum. So if you want to see it kill me really quick, we're going to pick maximum, and it's going to sit there thinking forever. Coming up with the best possible way to kill me. Oh! 22Q, 18Q, 14Q, and 2 Don. So this 2 Don computer is going to super duper ultra kill me. Like, nothing's ever killed me before. Wait. Uh, I, obviously I'm taking this game pretty casually here. Um, yeah, already I don't like my position. I'm losing all my stones. This is horrible. Let's go back and try a new game against Maximum. And maybe actually try this. Okay, let's pick a spot. Uh, 
Is Tengen really that strong? I don't know. I have a feeling I've already lost this. Okay, so... If I just play down here, I've got a solid shape. And obviously it's not going to tell me territory because nobody controls any territory yet. Um, killing this white group does seem impossible, doesn't it? Alright, we're going to try reducing white's territory like this. Oh, that's cool. Um, it seems that I'm getting killed faster than it's getting killed. That's not good at all. <laughs> okay, well, let's just play this out just to see it happen. And we've probably already seen enough, but, you know. Oh! I didn't see that. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to form some empty triangles up here and down here. You know, just because I'm that good at the game. Um, okay. I'm going to try to reduce this somewhat. But I've got a kind of sinking feeling about where this is going. Wait, what's it doing? What's this about? I guess because it can go there next turn. So it's safe and... Okay. Am I seriously getting captured? Okay, I need to understand that when I have two liberties, I'm one step away from being an Atari. It's great that I can see Atari when I'm in it. Seeing it one move earlier would probably help. Okay. Well, so maximum kicks my butt. Um, let's see if online play is back. Sure. Let's create a public game. Um, so far we've found one opponent out there. He seems more than willing to kick my butt. Um... I don't know either of our strengths. I know I play on OGS, and I'm ranked like 25Q or something. Um, basically, I see things much too late. Um, at least, I'm the one thing I can kind of sort of see like before the end of the game before you have all the life and death problems, at least I do. Um, and obviously, well, I don't know what to say. But um, one thing I do kind of see in the middle game is the potential for a ladder. But that's somewhat challenging to realize on the 9x9 board. It does show up from time to time, but it's not a thing you're going to see every game. So, this is the online play. Nah, I'm just kidding with you. Um, some minutes ago, the server did disconnect us. It's either my moves were just that bad, or we're still in the early access period and the server is not entirely perfectly reliable. And You know, the standard stuff that comes with just playing an early access game. Um... How does one play go and not suck? You know, if I could answer that, I might not have purchased this game. Because I'm pretty bad at Go. Um, like, I was saying way at the beginning of this, uh, I'm kind of picking up on the basics of the game, and um, that's pretty much where I'm at. I remember when I first played chess, I was awful at that as well. 
So there is some hope. Yeah. Um. I guess to play Go and not suck, you play the right moves. Or you play good moves. Yeah. I remember some time ago playing against some kind of Go computer that was on some website that was advertised as being like an ultra super easy Go computer. And even so, it would beat me every time. And these were some of the most embarrassing, terrible Go games anyone will ever see. Um, and I don't know. I've somewhat improved from that. People have told me to do tons of life and death problems, and I have. Problem is, I never get to those kinds of positions because I'm just getting completely, totally overwhelmed before we even get there. Yeah, it, it takes time and effort and practice to become good at it. Um, but yeah, it's possible that during this early access period it might be more challenging uh, than later uh, to find an opponent. So I can go back. And, I mean, let's see, I could say look for a 15 second game. Yeah, which would be kind of silly. Um, I do like the music, it's pretty cool. Alright, so let's play a game against the easy computer. Just to show off my Go prowess. So, these two stones next to each other are stronger than having just one stone by itself. Um, now I'm going to make the move of saying I'm going to take the right side of the board. So we're going to just dedicate this game to the right side. Um, where do I even want to play? Like, here seems like a halfway reasonable move, because now I can't get cut there. Um, so far I'm not an Atari just yet. I've lost so many stones to just... I mean, yeah, I would play that and he would kill me. That's... I mean, it's good that the game points out these sorts of things, because I would fall for that. Um, so I'm just a little bit skittish about playing anything even mildly aggressive. Oh, sorry. What happened here? Yeah. The problem is, though, like, unlike chess, where, I mean, yeah, you do have to get the tactics... In Go, it seems like there is some strategic element that's more pervasive as well. Um, and so you can study... Um, you can study life and death problems all day and all night, but if you never even get to the positions where those are relevant, or where you can even see life and death, um, there's not much of a point. I mean, ultimately what should happen is that you understand the life and death problems, and then you understand the positions that lead to them, and then you understand the positions that lead to those positions, and suddenly you've got a concept of where does it even make sense to place stones. Like, if white place is here, um, life and death problems will tell you that like black is not dying to this. This is a challenging move, but it's not nearly enough to kill any black stone anywhere in this vicinity. Um, also, um, life and death will tell you, yeah, okay, you can kill this particular stone, but you can always kill that whenever you feel like it, because if white tries to extend, you play there, and white tries to extend here, and you kill it. Or white plays here, you go there, and white plays here, and you kill it this way. So this stone's already dead, so there's no need to go kill it. Um, life and death would tell you something about this thing... I'm not sure. Like, you, Black could consider playing this. Uh, White's got two liberties. White 
or black could even play this. Um, again, white has two liberties. This is kind of a shared liberty between the black stones and the white stones. So, um, so this really isn't white territory per se. This isn't like the safest spot for white. So if black plays here, white's kind of got like one liberty there and maybe half of a liberty here. So this might be actually the strongest move on the board. It would force white to play there. After white plays here, I, I have no idea what's going on. I probably play there. I probably eventually surround this. And some number of moves out. On the other hand, life and death puzzles might tell you that this group's already dead. I don't know. I mean, it, it kind of looks dead. Because you see the one eye here. White can somehow, out of these three spaces, he can manage to form an eye. But unless white manages to extend into the corner, there's no second eye. So this might actually be the best move for black. Um, I don't know. When the outside black stones are strong, it stops being a problem about liberties, since black has infinite. It becomes a problem about eyes. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really good at the whole liberties thing. That's kind of important. So, what I don't know is, should I play down here, or should I play up there? Is white actually making some genuine threat to live in the corner here somehow? Probably not. I mean, it looks like white's dead all over the board, but he's still making threats, which is pretty annoying. Um, this is actually kind of a fun puzzle. Like, what's the best move for black in this position? Now, granted, I'm playing against the easy computer. Any move I play is going to win this. But what's the best way for black to proceed? I'm really thinking it's down here. Because um, I want to make sure that this white group that's got seven stones, I want to make sure that that's not going to live and preventing white from creating some kind of eye in the corner seems like the way to go. Now, I don't know if this is equivalent. I mean, this connects two stones, so it seems kind of strong. And if I play here instead, white connects there or pushes here. And it's kind of threatening to cut here or making some threats against this and making some threats against that. So this really looks strong. Um... On the other hand, if I go here directly and white goes here, I mean, I'm probably still killing this group. Probably doesn't matter. But for the sake of seeing where this... Okay, the 2-4 point. This point is already an eye. So yeah, it's just a question if white can make another eye down here somewhere. Um, I'm going to say no. Okay. So... This is where the whole thing about liberties is kind of relevant. I uh, see I've got like a one, two, three, four liberties for this group of three. Um, and it's going to take me one, two, three turns to kill this group. So I'm completely winning this race. Um, but I see if white plays here, he's almost forming two eyes. I mean, I could play there directly, but that shouldn't be necessary. Black should just be able to play here. I don't know if it's necessary for Black to play here, but this should work. Um, it seems wasteful to play there. So the key point is, if I place here, White places there. Um... Oh, sorry, you call this 2-4, so I guess this would be 1-5 and 
So I play one five, he would play one four. Um, and that would kill my black stone. So I can't play there directly. Ditto for here. Um, what I don't know is if I have to play one seven to kill all this. Or if I can somehow shortcut... No, I can't play here first. I can't play 1-4 and then 1-5 because I get killed. Yo, know, right. So white is starting to threaten to make some kind of eye up here. It's really a hopeless quest, but white's kind of trying to make a threat. Um... Yeah, usually in a Go game, you're prioritizing, well, on a larger board, you're prioritizing just what strategically makes the most sense in the long run. Um, and so you make some decision about, I'm going to let white expand there, and I'm going to take some space elsewhere. Um, yeah, no, the lighting effects are pretty cool. I wish that the edges of the board looked a little bit crisper. But the lighting looks awesome. Um, so, I mean, this isn't really a credible threat. If I leave it completely unattended, it might turn into something, but... I don't know, like, even if I gave white a free... If I passed here and white plays here... Um, I could probably still kill all that. But there's no reason to even go there. Might as well just kill this directly. Okay. So yeah, I shouldn't even be concerned because I'm so fully connected. That's good to know. Now, I mean, this doesn't look like any kind of living shape I've ever seen. Um, so I should just proceed with killing, um, and have fun doing so. Alright, now this sort of looks like white's going to make one eye, but I can still even neglect that, but there's no reason for me to neglect it. Uh, I should just immediately surround this and kill it. Um... So, oh, this is kind of a contested space, but I don't have to contest there right away. Let's, I don't know what to do. I think black is so completely winning this that it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not seeing an obvious move. Like, yeah, I could kill this if I really wanted to, but there's no point. Black's already... I mean, all of Black's moves are good here. And none of them seem to be any better than any other moves. Um, because Black seems to be completely winning this. Like, this is not even close. And... Uh, I'm not even seeing anything that looks like a reasonable white threat at this point. So, yeah, I'm not sure how to proceed. Uh, I could ask White to resign. That'd be kind of nice. <laughs> um, like, it looks like all of White's groups are dead. I'm not seeing how White makes any kind of living shape anywhere on the board. And I keep looking and I'm just not seeing anything. I guess I'm going to surround this. Yeah. Right. Uh, yes, yeah, so I do have to kill everything, because that's how Ancient Go makes this game work. Because capturing stones is fun. Um, but yeah, white is absolutely nowhere near forming a living shape. So, killing white with... Um, uh, 
should not be anything of a challenge here. Okay, so now... No, white's still not anywhere near threatening my stuff. Um, make a threat. Uh, white ignores it. Execute said threat. And just kill all the things. And... Um, yeah. Oh, white made a living shape. I was not paying attention. I didn't even... Wait, no, that's not living. That is not living at all. Man. This is gonna hurt white. Yeah, black wins by resignation. Because what black could do is next play here on 4-7... And then 3, 9, and so all this dies. Over here, black at his leisure just plays at 7, 9, and 9, 9. I mean, this is obviously dead. This is dead. And yeah, this there's no eyes here either. So that's pretty simple. Um, so that's what the easy computer is like. Not very exciting. Let's see if I can get an online game. I'll give this another try. Probably not, because I think they restarted the server a few minutes ago. Um, so it's possible that just nobody's on at the moment. We're still in early access, so anything's possible, but... Um, I wouldn't hold my breath, I guess. So, yeah, let's... Um, Oh, so I have to go back here to play the computer. And then we play... let's play medium. Um, so, I'm not sure what shapes make sense in this. Okay, so obviously I'm losing a stone. I shouldn't be too concerned about that, I don't think. Um... Because there's more important things to do than save a single stone. Um, actually, I'm pretty confused about what's going on here. Have I walked into a ladder? I don't think so. This isn't nearly enough stones. I mean, white's starting to form a ladder here, but if I place there, he places here. Yeah, maybe I did ladder myself. Although, I can do this, white extends, yeah, I'm not winning that. Um, interesting. And by that, I mean you guys probably don't find this too interesting, but it's, it's my attempt to play the game. Um, if I go there... Okay, so I got two liberties. I'm one step away from Atari. So really, my play's gotta be here, right? And white plays there, though. So that, there's no point to this. If I play there, um, I'm still getting surrounded too quickly. So I should consider these two gone. I should just play here directly, although white plays there anyway. So maybe I try to attack this stone. I don't know. Just have to play a lot of games and find out what works and what doesn't. So white's got three liberties. I've got two. So again, this white group is living, this black group's dying. But maybe I can... Oh, actually, I'm an Atari now. I self atari myself. Um... Okay... Uh, I did not expect play to proceed that way. Am I still an Atari? Yeah, I'm, okay. So I walked right into that. And now I've lost everything on the right half of the board. 
and we just accept that that's lost and build a wall and continue wall building and then hopefully a computer makes a mistake um, that's worse than the mistakes I'm making but probably not it would be very surprising if the computer could find some worse moves than I could find alright so white's dead down there so we're gonna repeat that shape all over the place apparently um, okay I kill your group I think the computer's just being nice to me at this point Oh, I can't kill that right back. Um, wait, this group of two is not safe, is it? If I play there, no, that is safe. I can't kill these two. This is these two and those two make a shape called a bamboo joint that's kind of difficult to kill. Um. So I should just continue surrounding things until all the things are dead. Okay, we kill you there, kill you here, kill you there, and there. And you're going to force me to kill you here. Um. Okay, and so now we pass. We don't fill in our own territory because that would be dumb. And we don't go attacking because, I mean, there's no profit to be made from set attacks. It doesn't hurt to attack. Like, if I believed that if I played here and that this would gain something, it would be profitable to do that. But it's a waste of time, so might as well just pass. And I do actually win that game, but only because the computer made so many empty triangles and let me kill all its things on my half of the board. Um... So, computer got off to a very strong lead in the start of the game, and then just completely tanked it by dumping all its stones over here and not trying to make a living shape. Um, I mean, that's a way to play the game, but it's not going to win. I, I think that probably what Medium's trying to do is... Hmm, wow, why would you do that? I don't even know what to do against this. Let's build there. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, just keep taking all these points. So this is a faster way to develop. Um, so I'm covering a lot of space with not very many stones. Um, it's a little bit weakening, for uh, for sure, but it does cover a lot of space. Um, maybe this is something I should be doing more often, is this one space gap. Oh, you're right that huh so yeah all those moves on the left side didn't actually matter the fact that it dropped so many stones over there did nothing to change the territory balance it's that somehow i ended up controlling more territory okay yeah huh well that makes me think <laughs> Um, okay, that kind of changes the paradigm, doesn't it? Um, so if I, I can't kill this, there's no way it's going to die, so let's strengthen that. Oh, I see white extends. And if I just keep ignoring it, white's going to keep extending. Alright, so black extends. 
two people can play this game. Um, oh, he could have taken my guy. Probably should have. Okay. Okay. Oh. But this isn't a living shape. Kill you. Um, this is an empty triangle, which is kind of, sort of, to be avoided for tons of reasons. It's just not very efficient. Um, okay. So yeah, I just have to kill White's strongest looking stones until it concedes. Oh, it kills me there if I play here. Um, so if I want to kill this group of two, I have to... I should have taken that. Well, it doesn't... Yeah, it does matter. Because that's one more pass at the end. Um, oh. Of course I missed that. Yep. You got me, buddy. Alright, so I filled in my own territory there for one move. I probably should have calculated things out. Anyhow. Um, this is just me playing kind of impulsively. I guess I didn't feel in any danger, so I just played a whole bunch of moves. Um, yeah. So, I just easily win that. Let's try one more. Okay, expand to the side, expand to the other side. Am I surrounded? I mean, I know this is awfully weak, um, but I don't know if I'm surrounded. Okay, White is just playing silly moves at this point. Uh, I do have to connect this, otherwise I lose my center stone. Um, Okay. I mean, it's being generous in not taking this, I think. Yeah, I forced it to fill in that. I was just curious. I'm just playing things to see what happens. Oh, that's what happens. Okay, that's not good. That is not good. Look at all this one space I control. Um... It has a better chance of killing me than I have of killing it at this point. Uh, so I'm going to try to surround it. It's probably not going to go well. Crud. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, wait. No, I've lost. Um, although I control a lot of space up here, but control... It's kind of a relative word when all your stones are in danger. Um, okay. So I need to control some more space. White's not... I mean, white might be taking the corner. Um... Okay, that doesn't look realistic at all. Um, but no, I need to try to extend into white space here somehow. Wait. If white connects all this, I'm kind of screwed. Um...
So do I control zero space? I think I control zero space. I might not even be alive. Oh, it took the one spot here that I needed to... Well, no, I can still live there. Um, I kill that. White passes. Okay, I have no idea. I'm just playing impulsively because I'm kind of tired at this point. Um, don't fight tanks with tennis balls. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, I'm obviously doing silly things. Um, um, <laughs> that was really silly of me to do all that. Um, on the other hand, I've, I was just curious what would happen. And it's good to explore and be curious once in a while. In a serious game, you obviously would not want to play such moves because they just aren't good. Um, but, I don't know, I'm tired and exploring things a bit. Yeah. Yeah, somehow, I, I can't... I did make an effort to control some space and to not concede too much space. So, I mean, okay, well, the latter is not true, but I did make an effort to try to surround some space. Um, I did manage to kill a couple white groups and thereby gain myself the territory that was lying underneath them, but, like, I don't know. I thought I did something halfway reasonable this game. So, it, obviously against any kind of halfway sane human player, this probably wouldn't have worked. Um, but yeah, I took this game. Um, yeah, I could have placed here killing the white stone, but that I don't think that makes any difference. Well, maybe it might make a one point of difference. I don't know. So I'm winning by, or I did win by five and a half. If I had captured this, um, that would have gained me a, a space and territory. Right? So that would have actually been worth taking. If I'm counting it right. Not that it mattered in this case. Um... But yeah, interesting. Okay, I know I said one more, but we can't end it on that kind of silly note. Alright, so I'm going to go with my amazing just build a wall strategy. So I'm taking four files to its um, three files. And so because Comey is... Um, seven and a half points, I can declare victory at this point. Right? Um, I mean, yeah, I, I'm winning um, 36 to 34 and a half. If I place in my own side of the board, I'm no longer winning. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, And you go, if the stone can't live, the space and the stone go to your opponent. Right. Yeah, those, those I think, are Japanese rules? I don't know. Chinese rules, something. But yeah, this plays by the rule set that you actually have to take the stones. Which probably works best for beginners. Um, so at this point, technically, I've got more territory. I am terrified at the idea of my opponent placing on my half of the board. I really am. So I pass. Okay. And now I start to die. Not really, but... Um... So... Okay, am I getting surrounded? This is guy's an Atari, so I have to... I don't have to do anything about it. Be nice to. 
Okay. So we solidify this. And I think that solidification. I don't know if it. No, each time white places a stone, it makes up for the fact that I placed a stone. So white's gaining no advantage by these delaying techniques, unless it manages to live down here. Um, so I've got to make sure that doesn't happen. So technically, this is what they call bent four and a quarter, I think. Although that's not even that. Um, so white's threatening to play here and play there and form a living shape. Um, I could play either point to kill this group. But this is almost starting to look like a real threat. Or maybe it is a real threat already. I'm not sure. I think white needs a couple more turns um, of me just playing careless stuff and then it can take this. But that's not going to happen. Um, so I take the key point here, and now white can't, um, live there anymore. Oh. Uh-oh. Um, I completely missed that. Uh, okay. That's not good. Uh, am I still winning this or have I lost it? If I place here... Uh... Jeez. Man, that's amazing. I think I have to place there. Um... And I have to kill this group of four in order to kill everything down the ninth file. Uh, in the meantime, it's threatening to place here, and, although that threat doesn't do anything. It's actually threatening to place here and form a second eye. So I have to stop eye number two, and then I can go through... Oh. Okay. Well, that's sad news. Um, hmm. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, this, I mean, I did make some effort at trying to calculate that this point I've been going for at least an hour maybe more and just completely hallucinating so um, so yeah <laughs> well so at this point I have to make a living shape on the left side because I've kind of not succeeded on the right side. Unless there's some way I can kill this. Oh my goodness. I don't think so. So, this is an eye. This is an eye. Well, this is like a false eye. I don't know. Um... Between this and the bottom corner, that's two eyes. So I can't fill in all these points and fill in the center point. Um, See, so yeah, white has made a life there. Um, so that's kind of bad. Just a bit. Um... So, what I need to do is find a way to live on the left side, and or kill all these stones on the fourth column. Well, here we go. I'm trying to make some kind of life here. Um, 
Oh, well, I failed that. Okay, I failed there as well. Um, and I'm probably failing in the corner. Yeah, I'm just like nowhere close here. So, oh well. I'm not sure what's even the best way to start to approach that. You don't want to start too close to the corner because then white's just going to box you in and you don't have enough territory to make an eye. You don't want to start too close to the white wall either. Yeah, right. Okay, so, yeah, we concede at that point. Um, we can't end it on that. We have to do one more. And hopefully this time, play with some common sense. Um... I don't know if this point matters. I just don't have a sense for that sort of thing. Um, okay, so... Honestly, I'm just glad when my guys don't die all over the board right out of the opening. Um, so, do I play here, or do I play there? Do I have to fix anything? Or do I play somewhere else? Um... This really looks weak over here. I want to do something to fix that so I don't get completely busted. If I place here, he places there, maybe? I don't think that matters, though. Yeah, so we fix this. So... That's enough out of that. And out of this. And then we kill this whole group. Um... White's having fun killing some things too, but it doesn't matter. Um, ultimately what matters is territory control. And I think I'm kind of dominating on that this game. I don't know if this is a good move. If I do this, he goes there, I'm trapped. If I do the, yeah, I have no supporting stones over here. There's nothing to support me invading, so I should just go this way. It's so unexciting. Um, it's so patient, rather. Uh, now we take some more territory, or we reduce White's territory by peeking in here. No, I'm getting surrounded if I do that. So I have to fix this. And then I can't kill that right away, so we go there instead. Go here, kill all that. Kill this stuff. I understand white kills my guy, I kill all the white's guys. You know, all these skirmishes down here don't really matter. Okay, white places inside white's own territory for some reason. Uh, I pass, and I win. So that was better. Yeah, I'm being a little bit harsh on myself for having missed so many things on the right side of the board the last game, but I think I'm not calculating very well at this point. Um, if you're sure the opponent can't live, then capturing them is not very urgent. Right. Yeah, the only reason I started hunting these guys down is because I didn't have anything else to do. And this game forces you to go capture them all. I'll get, make one last attempt to see if I find a game out here. Again, probably not going to find anyone. 
And even if we do find an opponent, they're probably better than I am, so... Um, so that might be a, somewhat discouraging. Although it means there's opportunity to learn. <laughs> Either way, it's been quite a session. Ah, there were worth move. There were moves there, huh? Yeah, I think you're probably referring to when I started playing in the upper right corner to try to score better on the end game. But yeah, having seen, um, I watched the Deep Mind Challenge. And I observed um, some of those. Well, you remember how some of those games went. And so, yeah, the popular image of Go is something according, something along those lines, where, oh, look at all the stones that are being captured. And this is really a game about controlling territory. And the capturing aspect is just kind of incidental to all that. Um, and yet, just the popular image of the game is that it's a game all about capturing. And I don't know. I just find that a bit amusing. Well, it's been fun. It looks like that'll do it. So you know, let's go back. It's quite a session today. Um, so yeah, I guess look forward to more online play in the future. It's something I do want to try again. Um, playing against the computer is instructive from the standpoint that it points out blunders, or at least it exploits them. At some point I do, I am still working on, um, a program to help better teach Go, but it's taking forever to develop. Um, and obviously I'm not the most qualified to be giving instruction on actual Go improvement, but I can take a stab at it from a completely different perspective just as a software developer. Um, I can just try some ideas that probably wouldn't occur to most people. Um, and uh, just have my own approach with that, and we'll see if it gets anywhere. And if not, that's okay. At least I'll have learned something from it. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of in the works. Um, what would also be fun would be to have a Go puzzle server. Uh, I recently obtained a game uh, by the name of Sume Go Pro. For a mobile phone they have a free application and you can pay for their additional puzzles if uh, you're so motivated their free content is excellent I gotta say though it's a lot of really high quality life and death problems with uh, as in-depth analysis as you could possibly need for that sort of problem so again if you're looking for something just to play on the go uh, it's a pun it's an unavoidable pun. I'm sorry. Yeah, I do recommend Sume GoPro. Um, yeah, it's been a fun session. I've got to keep doing those life and death problems, but also I've got to figure out... I don't know. Maybe I should just have some confidence and go for the 13 by 13 board. Because... I don't know. It's somehow discouraging to keep playing on the 9x9 nine nine and just keep missing all the tactics because all the stones are too close together. Um, it would be more interesting if I could get onto a larger board and still play decently. 
on the other hand, since I'm missing so many tactics, what's really the point of going to the larger board where I'm still going to miss the tactics? I need to improve my tactical play by just sticking on 9x9. Yeah, that, that's the thing. is like the 13x13 13 13 is just intimidating me. Um, yeah, I mean, there's that perspective too. I don't understand why other sizes, like, goodness, can't there be an 11 by 11? How good or how bad would it be? 9 by 9 just feels so incredibly cramped, and I'm just missing things all over the place, and there's, like, no time, there's no opportunity for strategic play. It's very tactical. At least that's my experience, and... I know on a 9x9 nine nine board there is no real sense of an opening because things can just evolve all over the board very quickly. Um, so there's nothing predictable there. Playing on 11x11 11 11 or 13x13 13 13 might at least give me some landmarks to start with. Um, yeah, I just wish there were something that were not as totally random as 9x9, nine nine. because as fun as it is to, like, walk into Atari over and over and over, uh, it's difficult to recognize patterns on such a small board. At least I find it challenging. Having some kind of structure would help, and I don't know. I mean, yeah, the life and death problems are helping, because I can see... If somebody sets up a position where I'm completely winning, um, then I can play the one winning move. Great. But I have to get there, and that's hard. Maybe I just need to be patient. And just stick with 9x9 nine nine until I don't suck as much. I don't know. It's food for thought. Yeah. See, I would have thought... That's something not quite as large as 13 by 13, but maybe I know the three common sizes are 9 by 9, 13 by 13, 19 by 19. But 9 by 9 seems extremely cramped. It's just crazy. Huh. That's an interesting thought. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. The early problems are helping you see that vital points are like playing here splits your area into two eyes. Or this makes a false eye. Yeah. And that's kind of why I don't want to jump right into 19 by 19. It's just I know as much as it hurts in 9 by 9 when I miss things, when I... Well, I mean, even if you miss things on the large board, it's not instantly fatal. Um, sure. See, so, yeah, mistakes don't hurt quite as badly on such a large board. Large board. Um, interesting. So, yeah, I think maybe I should gain some more experience with all the tactics. And then, once I'm better at this tactical go, then start playing the 19 by 19. Actually seems like a reasonable way to play. Right. Yeah, your mistakes don't hurt as much, because they're not like instantly fatal on 19 by 19. And even if you lose some stones, who cares? Yeah, I could always go back to 9x9. Nine nine. The thing that really intimidates me about the largest board, though, is just thinking that, you know, I'm going to play this long game and then have no concept of what's going on for most of the game. And that's, 
Yeah, I think I have to improve the tactical play to at least be able to understand what are strategic points to aim for. Um, M9 are nice because, yeah, they're quick games and they help you. Let's see. Liberties, Atari, Eyes, and how the edge of the board works. Yeah. I'm forgetting the word for it, but there's a, a word for opening formations. I know they don't exist. Um, I know they don't really exist in 9x9 because things get randomized very quickly. But just having an idea of like what works well. Two adjacent stones is too slow. Two stones separated by a space is too fast. Two stones and knights move apart. Or like two spaces and then one space. I, I just don't know. Fuseki. Okay, so I was thinking of the right word. Huh. But yeah, appreciating that sort of thing would probably help. Yeah, that's kind of funny, too. Right. Oh, man. I saw some... I forget where I saw this, but somebody shared a... It's amazing to see, like, some of the non-professional players play Tournament Go. Because once in a while, these incredible gems of games show up uh, I'll have to see if I could find it again sometime. But basically, some players can take an idea to an extreme, and then suddenly there will be one tactic that lights the entire board on fire. Uh, Fuseki is opening formation. Joseki is corner patterns. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, standard sequences to follow. And obviously, Joseki don't really happen. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, so... Fuseki has to do with, oh, I'm going to play in the upper right, my opponent's going to play in the lower left, and that sort of thing. Joseki is a standard sort of sequence inside of a given formation. Neither one of those really apply, I guess, that much in the 9x9 game. But I still have to get a better appreciation for this thing they call Aji. Which has, just has to do with like how your shapes are formed. And are you controlling enough space? Are you going too fast? Are you going too slow? And now that I think more about it, probably something I should consider while doing that. It's not just my own stones, but how fast and how slow is my opponent playing? If my opponent starts playing fast moves, maybe I need to start playing fast moves and that sort of thing. And if he's playing really slow, solid moves, maybe I need to follow suit and adapt to that. Um, right, 9x9 nine nine quickly goes into middle game fighting. Interesting, but there are a few Seki in 9x9. Nine nine. So, basically I'm starting every 9x9 nine nine game at a handicap of not knowing the Fuseki. Other than knowing, you know, just playing in the center tends to be strong because that way you're not getting cut so badly. Yeah. Either way, it's been quite the experience. Um, I'm sure I'll learn more about it. Still glad this came out, um, and I look forward to online play being coming more of a thing. I know OGS is out there and people love it, um, but I like the idea of having a native game that just still allows you to play online. I know there's Pandanet, I know there's OGS, but I don't know, I like this the fact that this just natively runs here and doesn't require a browser and isn't tricky to navigate at all. It's The controls of the game are really nice and convenient. Um, on the other hand, finding an opponent is taking a little bit of time, but I'm sure with time things will improve there too. 
sense. So we'll see how that um, plays out in the future. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking for me to go back to this game, so I'm still giving it more of a chance. Um, right, yes, obviously aimed at beginners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's entirely understandable, especially because, I don't know, like, these other online sites are geared toward players that are much stronger. Um, and they work really well for those players, but this works well for me, so I'm glad to stick with it. Anyhow, I should probably wrap this up. Uh, look forward to seeing some more of this in the future. And with that, I guess I'll see you around.